Okay! Today we are making a detox tea. You may say, if you're an educated person, um, you know, there's really no such thing as a detox tea because if my liver, kidneys, and lymph nodes are functioning properly, they will do all the detoxing for me. Yes, you are right. But since it is marketed as detox tea, that is what I will be calling it. Here we go. We need a stove or some warm thing. Um, we will also need uh, ginger. <laughs> Cinnamon sticks, turmeric, cayenne pepper, lemon, and honey. And I think that's about it. So I have my water boiling already. Well, it's close to boiling. It's close enough. So what you want to do is you want to um, peel your ginger. I don't know. Where's a peeler? Do I have a peeler thing? I do! I do! It's like I'm prepared. Almost. How about that election, huh? <laughs> no, it's foggy today. Whoa. Oh, shit! Uh, I need a spoon. So you don't want to put the peelings of your ginger in the boiling water. Off. That's what I say about most things. Good enough. So then, you want to cut it on an angle so that you get the most surface area. Look at this! It's like I timed it. My water's boiling. I mean, of course. We did it! So you take your ginger, plop it in. Just plop. Great. Now you want that to boil for 20 minutes. Your house will smell delicious or disgusting, depending on if you like ginger. And if you don't like ginger, um, then don't make this. Why are you making this? Okay, see you in 20 minutes! I'm gonna do laundry. Oh god, dishes. Okay, we're back. This has been boiling for a while. Um, so we are going to add in, first we're gonna reduce this just to simmer. So we're gonna add in our turmeric and our cayenne pepper. So I like to do about two teaspoons of turmeric or more. I really like turmeric. And it's good for you. It's supposed to be good for all your innards like that. That's a hefty lot. I like that. Oh, it's good. Throw it in. Perfect. And then cayenne pepper. That'll give you some heat. And like that much. I'm really good at measuring. Um, throw it in. Two sticks of cinnamon. Or you can just, um, if you just have powdered cinnamon, you can just add that in. Like a rough, you know, shallow handful. Continue with my traditional measuring system. And now you let that simmer for like 10 minutes. See you in 10. Okay, now I really have to do the dishes. Okay, it has been simmering for like 10 minutes. Um, now we're done. So turn the stove off. And what you want to do is just take any type of container of glass you want. And we're going to strain it. So. Isn't this fun? Just watching me strain stuff. Uh oh. Oh man. And spill stuff. I think it's gone? It's gone? <sighs> okay, donkey. Perfect. Now, we take a lemon and honey. 
I know a nice lady who has a honey farm, whatever you call it. So I get nice raw honey. Try that, it's way better. Um, or if you don't have access to somebody who has beehives, try to buy your honey in like the natural food aisle um, or something like that because if you just buy regular honey at the grocery store, it's just sugar. It's not, there's no good properties left in it. Um, then you want to take, for one glass, you want to have the juice of an entire lemon. Yeah, let's make a mess. Lemon's a cleaning agent, right? Oh my god. I am the weakest person alive. This is hard. We got our lemon in. Thank god I don't have any cuts on my hand. Honey, honey, honey. Ow. Okay, I do. I do. I do. I do have a cut. I do have a cut. Oh, okay, I need water. Oh god, I have a cut. <coughs> oh god. <coughs> Take a spoonful, honey. Ouch. Maybe get a glass that has a handle. This is flipping hot. There we go. Oh yeah. So this is also great if you're feeling sick. Um the honey and the lemon kind of help coat the throat and soothe it and and also ginger is great for your stomach if you have an upset stomach um this is a great tea to have so yeah anytime you're sick or not feeling well or now that it's getting colder in most places here um this is just great to have to kind of heat you up because there is a fair bit of uh, spice in it and i just love having it at night to kind of unwind and warm up before I go to bed. Or I also like having it first thing in the morning because the spice in the lemon kind of like Woof. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. We did it. We did it. So um yeah try out this recipe. It's really easy. It's really yummy. Um it makes not too much of a mess. And uh, let me know how you like it. Let me know in the comments or let me know if you want me to make anything else. I'll leave the recipe down below, um, including how uh, much palm space the spices should take up. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't lose.